All right, pears are a healthy, delicious fruit that can be used for many things. Tina just got up, walked over to your produce man, Michael Marks, to tell us more about the tasty fruit. Hi, T. In the Zothex kitchen, what's going on here? I didn't know you were cooking today. Yeah, I'm making uh, pe pear sadillas. Pear sadillas? Quesadillas with pears. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> right? Uh, by the way, how come I didn't make the 8 o'clock list? Ooh. Ashley types that in. Ashley typed it in. Uh, oh, man. We'll see what had happened was. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So there are two main types of pears in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, there are Asian pears. That's this one here in, in the cute little sock. That's mm -hmm. actually called a sock. Okay. And they put them in a sock to keep from bruising them. Uh, so there's Asian pears, which is, is the oldest pear on earth, Asian pears. Okay. And then there's what we call European pears. That's okay. all the other pears. Okay. Right? And, uh, and back in the 1700s, the English were breeding horses. The French were breeding pears, okay. which is why so many of the pears have French names, like uh, you got the Comis pear, the Bosque pear, the D'Angelo pear, all these French names oh, okay. because the French were busy hybriding uh, new varieties of pears. So I love these pears. We've got Bartlett pears here, uh, which most of the world calls Williams pear. Why? Uh, that's because it was known as Williams in England, and when they came over to the New World, you know, in Boston, uh, the, the tags fell off the trees, so they didn't know what pear tree it was. So Enoch Bartlett, uh, who was a nurseryman in Boston, he just renamed it after himself. Of course. So Bartlett okay. pears. What All right. So that's one of the main pears. Of course, Bosque pear. It Which is, is your favorite, if you had to pick one? Uh, an eating pear, Comey's pear, the, the stubby, chubby, fat little thing. This is mine. Uh, the Bosque pear. Mm -hmm. uh, Bosque pear is the Cadillac of pears if you're baking, right? Okay. I love the red pears. Now, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to pick up that bag. Here uh, put some pears in that bag. Okay, there you go. Just go ahead and put the pears mm -hmm. in the bag. Okay. Put the pears in the bag. Okay, done. Now, Tina did a very, very good job. And I'll tell you why she did a good job. Because pears uh, have a very thick skin, or very thick uh, uh, stem on them. Mm -hmm. All pears have very thick uh, stems. And if you just drop these in, guess what's going to happen? What? You are going to bruise all the other pears. So you did exactly right. You hand placed the pears into the bag so you don't you I don't know. like bruises. Uh, I don't either. Yeah. So any. So anyway, there. There you go. That's with pears. By the way, the pear is a climactric fruit. You know what a climactric means? Something to do with the climate. Uh, no. It, me it means that you must pick the pear before it ripens. You will never ever find a oh. tree ripened pear ever. Oh. Never in a million years. Okay. You must pick the pear and then allow them to ripen. Okay. Now what I've done here. Uh, I've taken a nice little Bartlett pear here. By the way, do you, do you see my nice new knives? I here? really like that knife. Uh, yeah, I do too. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a great way of getting some extra fruit into your kids, uh, into your here? kids' diet, and just add some pears. Pears and cheese go really well together, right? Oh, look at that. This is a fold-over pear. Okay. And I a fold-over quesadilla, yeah. pear sadilla. And there you go. I already made one for you. And by the way, brand new shirt, my pear shirt. I love it. Yeah. I have, I have four have brand new ones. Dress. Yes, I do. Good. Yeah. Mm. Pears and cheese go well together, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Michael. Yay. Yay. Michael Marks, your produce man. This is very good. Mm -hmm. mm. Gently place the pears inside the bag so it doesn't bruise. Thank you, Ashley. You got it. A little recap if you aren't paying attention. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, thank you.